my name is Lindy Sherries and I used to be a Sangoma. In this channel, I talk about everything, guys. Abokorobela, the secrets that we were taught not to share with you guys, how we used to trick you guys, the spirits, how everything works when you go to a Sangoma for a consultation. Yamatambo. So whether you believe in God or don't believe in God, please check out this channel so we can talk about it. If you believe in God, let's share the gospel. If you don't believe in God, you can check out the channel too. I want to hear your opinion and I want people to actually Really share their opinion, not insulting me without saying why. Thank you, and I'll see you on my channel. Yes, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. Welcome to Solomon's Temple. My name is Solomon Izang Ashams. It's so great to be with you uh, here, and it's so great to be able to have you wherever you are. Uh, thank you for those who have been regular. Uh, you always hear commenting. Uh, uh, and and also uh you know subscribing i really appreciate each and every one of you uh that is here thank you my sister evelyn from switzerland uh great to have you here bongani great to have you here my very uh trusted berean always supportive on here on youtube and also on facebook uh great to have you angel shalom to you also all the way from the beautiful city of lusaka zambia Miriam Sakala. Awesome to have you here from Dominica Republic. Good to have you here, child of God Rose. If you don't know where Dominica Republic is, well, go check. Beautiful island country up in the Caribbean. Uh, <clears throat> Suziel, good to have you here uh, from Saudi. Okay, Saudi Arabia, but you're a Kenyan citizen. Uh, hope you're doing well. Thank you. Thank you, Emeril from Lusaka also. Audrey from uh, the USA, from the state of New Jersey. Also from Kenya, His Grace. Uh, Joshua, it's good to have you here. Anita also. Uh, Habari to you also, uh, His Grace. And uh, we have uh, Dominique. Uh, Terrence from Botswana. Yeah. Thank you, everybody who, who is here with us. A lot of us are familiar with what's going on in the nation of Ukraine. Yesterday, we spent some time and pray for the nation of Ukraine. Uh, so I don't need to go into the background story of what's happening in the nation of Ukraine uh, between Russia and Ukraine. Uh, but we know there is tension going on there. And the Russians have sent in their troops to take over the nation to change the regime, basically. All they want is a regime change just so they can have a government that would not be in alliance with NATO, in alliance with nations like France, the USA, Canada, Japan, uh, Germany, uh, the UK. That's what this is really uh, a lot about. So we see the president of Russia, Putin, uh, who is very unpopular right now. But we also know that a lot of people left the nation of Ukraine. I was reading this morning, he said about 100,000 people crossed over from Ukraine into Poland, right? That's just one nation. You think about the, the other nations that are around Ukraine. People are seeking for safety. Families are, are leaving. Families, wives and kids are leaving and they're leaving their husbands behind who want to stay and fight, who want to stay and safeguard their, you know, their, their property and stuff like that. You know, so a lot has been happening. And we also know that there's a lot of Africans in Ukraine especially students studying engineering, you know, medicine and all that. And a lot of them are stranded there, you know. And one of the people who have been living in Ukraine for a very long time is Pastor Sunday Adelaja. We know him. He's a pastor uh, and founder of uh, a church there in the capital of Ukraine called Embassy of the Blessed Kingdom of God for All Nations in Kiev. So he's been there for so many years. He went in there as a student. That's what he went in there to do. He learned the language and started, you know, ministry, uh, you know, didn't really do what, uh, you know, get a job or whatever. But he felt God was saying, he reach out to the people. And, and he built a great, wonderful ministry helping people there, right? So now he is stranded. One of the things I had from the president of Ukraine was saying his family and his name are on the list of those who the Russians want to take away on a hit list. The Russians want to take. And the name of 
Sande Adelaja happens to be on that hit list, according to a video that he just released. So as we even pray for the nations of Ukraine and pray for Pastor Sande Adelaja, here is a video of him just sharing uh, what happened, where he's at. So he, as soon as he discovered, based on intelligence report, that he was on the hit list, he had to escape. So he escaped. Is he in Ukraine? Or is he outside of Ukraine? I, I think he's outside of Ukraine because nowhere in Ukraine is actually safe right now, isn't it? But he said he's in a safe place right now. Let's watch this video together. Everybody, this is DSA here, Dr. Sunday at Elijah, Pastor Sunday. Uh, I want to use this opportunity to thank everybody, all the people that have been supporting us, that have been praying for us, that have been asking about my whereabouts. This is a video that I've been looking forward for to do in the last uh, 48 hours. Uh, this is the first time I and my family have been able to have a place to put our head in the last 48 hours. We've been traveling. Sometimes we walk, sometimes we run, sometimes we're in the car, uh, standing in the long queue uh, of people who want to escape for their life in Ukraine. I'd wanted to stay back and send my wife to try to go, get, get out of the country uh, if necessary. But uh, then I got an information that in a few days, that was uh, two days ago, that the Russians we are going to actually enter Kiev, and from the American intelligence, uh, we got to know that they have a list of people for elimination. And this is not ordinary people, but it is for uh, influential people, people who have public opinion, but and uh, and that I am on that list, and the, and I know that I'm on the list because I already got. Uh, I was already a personal non grata in Russia since 2005. I've been a personal enemy of Vladimir Putin for close to 20 years now. He banned me from going to Russia. He, they took, you know, they, 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 you know, anyway, that's another story. So I know I will be in the, on that list. But before I left, uh, we were able to gather some African students in my house. Uh, some people live with me and some people came to join. Uh, but we have an underground bunker in our house. So everybody in my house now are on the, in the underground bank, uh, bunker. I would have lived there, I would have stayed back. But when I was told that I am in the list and that Russia was going to enter the city, all my leaders in the church and People said I must leave. So I have to quickly arrange for myself and Pastor Bosse to uh, go to a safe place. So as I'm talking to you right now, we are in a safe place. I will not I cannot give you more details than that, but the most important thing is that we are no more in that place. We are the bump and we are the shelling. Because the shelling, as you, some of you saw the the, the the picture of the bridge that leads to my house, but we were able to escape before that was done otherwise we would have been able to escape so and uh uh uh, uh the, sh the shelling is just all around our house and um, so uh, as the things are right now we just want to let you know that we're in a safe place that's the most important thing and we want to let you know that uh, your prayers should keep on going for a lot of other people that are left in ukraine for ukrainian cities a lot of your millions of ukrainian citizens foreigners students uh families yeah just keep on praying for ukraine but i must tell you i and my wife we are in a safe place right now thank you for everything we'll keep it updated okay that's uh dr sunday adalaja we're really glad that he's in a safe place um and yes as you know he he has Put on the reasons why he had to leave he didn't intend to leave he had to put on the reason because he is on a list on a hit list that the russians intend to eliminate before i even heard that he was on the hit list the president of russia was even talking about that that he himself is on the list why are they on the list 
we know Russia is um, Putin and himself. He's not democratic. He's been ruling over Russia for 20 years now. For, for me, he's, he's like a dictator, you know. And also, Sunday Adelaja was doing quite a lot of ministry in Russia. Uh, and they're not happy about the enlightenment that he was bringing to people back in the uh, in early 2000s and he was banned from entering russia for about 20 years now he's been banned he became a personal non grata you know what that means it means you are not allowed to enter the country so he's next to russia but he cannot enter russia for over 20 years now he couldn't get into russia so they know he's influential because they know how he has influenced people in ukraine to embrace our fairness to embrace their opinion to have opinions to not just follow the government and be controlled you know and that's what the bible do that's what scriptures do that's what churches are supposed to help people you know to understand their freedom their personal freedom their community freedom and their national freedom that's what it is you know so anywhere the gospel goes in there's a freedom that is experienced not just freedom from sin or freedom from control, or freedom from and uh, from Satan. No, <laughs> that freedom would have to be translated into your personal freedom. You're able to do what you want to do. You're able to vote who you want to vote. You're able to live where you want to live. You're able to achieve what you want to achieve, not the government controlling you or anybody controlling you. So you could understand that. In 2004, there was a huge protest called the Orange Revolution in Ukraine. And Dr. Sunday Adelaja and his church they were part of it. You know, the Orange Revolution to be, you know, concise, it was just about an election that happened, but the, the the person who was elected was imposed on the people. And Russia had a hand in it. So the people now protested and hit the street for about 5 months I think, from November of 2004 into 2005. Until they toppled the government and the president that was fraudulently elected had to leave. So obviously the Russians are going to be very much aware of him. So when they come, the Russia, Russia is, is trying to put on a government that would be answerable to Putin. And you cannot put in a government with opposition. So what do, what do they have to do? They have to take away all the oppositions that are around there. And Dr. Sunday Adelaja is part of that, those opposition voices that are there. So it, it is it is important for us to, you know, keep praying for, for the nation of Ukraine. There are families, there are people, about 200 people have lost their lives already. I'm talking about Ukrainians. Families have been uh, separated. You know, the father had to stay back and the, the mother and the kids had to leave to another country. Uh, the Ukrainians are trying to fight back. The Russians have might, they have power, they have everything. So it's just a matter of days, to be honest with you, before they conquer Ukraine. It's just a matter of days before they conquer Ukraine. Unfortunately. So let's continue to pray. And that those who are back there, you know, that the will of God will really uh, be done in this kind of situation, you know, uh, and uh, and to be able to 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 uh, to 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 understand what's going on there, and to be able to 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 support through prayer, especially, you know, through prayer. That's very important, you know. So, uh, Judges here says, uh, thanks to God Almighty, he's alive. And the Bible says the wicked will not go unpunished. Putin is wicked and he will not go unpunished. Um, uh, Miriam says, praise God, you are in a safe place. May the good Lord continue to protect and keep you and others safe. Only God is the answer. Um uh, Terence says that this is sad now. I followed Pastor Sunday on YouTube for years. His apologetics was always on point. I love the guy. Now I have someone to pray for. Yes, please keep praying uh, 
for for him um uh, uh whatever happens you know we have to know that taking the life of other people or invading other people's freedom is not just the right thing to do that's what it is it's not just the right thing to do so we continue to pray uh we continue to pray for for everybody uh, amen so the will of god must be done in jesus name amen so please people uh please continue to pray for for the nation of russia continue to pray for the people who are there there are so many people who are stranded who don't know who are not you know they want to leave they, because you don't know what would happen to the nation when the russians take over isn't it are they trying to make it like russia bring in a government that is going to oppress people take the rights of the people the bible is always about the rights of the people wherever the scripture wherever the gospel goes to people understand their rights that's the beauty of the gospel you get freedom from understanding your rights that's the beauty of the gospel so please keep praying for uh, the nation of ukraine and all the support that they need that you know there's going to be casualties like i said over 200 people have lost their lives already russia is just outside the main capital city of uh, kiev it's just a matter of hours before they take over it to be honest with you you can't stop the russians from taking over but then there's a god there's a god we don't know what his plan is his plan is so mightier than the might of Russians. So let's keep praying. Thank you so much. Please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and share the video. Shout